Wish you could build just a little higher in Animal Crossing? Well, yesterday I accidentally stumbled across a way to do just that. First, I'm doing this on version 1.2.0a of the game. No idea if Nintendo's going to patch this in the future. To start, you'll need a chair that you can approach from multiple sides, and an object that you can grab while sitting. I'm using this bench and end table, but it doesn't have to be these specific things. We can use these objects to clip through boundaries, and the game will adjust our height accordingly. Let's start by getting on top of the museum. Place your chair half a unit away from the thing you want to climb. That means pushing the chair all the way up to the museum, and then pulling it away once. Next, grab your object, that's the end table for us, then place it right against the opposite side of the chair. Now, go open your gates, because you'll need a friend for this next part. Return to your chair, face the object, and hold the A button. You should reach out to the object. Now, while holding A, tell your friend to fly in. When the message is displayed on screen, you'll notice that your character lets go of the object and is now standing through the chair. That means that you've done it correctly. After your friend arrives and you regain control of your character, run towards the museum, straight to the roof. This seems to happen because the bench is a half unit away, which is not large enough for you to stand in. So instead, the game puts you on the next available space, which happens to be the roof. Theoretically, you could use this to get on top of any building, with the exception of resident services, since you can't place objects in the plaza. You also know this if we switch over to Mal's perspective. It appears as though I'm inside the museum instead of on top. But in both instances, you can get some really funny photographs. It's worth noting that this trick only works when there are other players on your island. If the last person leaves while you're holding the object on the chair, you'll still be sitting on the chair after the loading screen and unable to do the trick. But now that you've got the basic idea down, you can do this anywhere. So let's do the same setup on the beach. Make sure we've placed the bench right up against the water, then pull it away once. We place our object, sit down, hold A, then tell our friend to arrive. As you'd expect, this allows you to clip off the beach and into the water. There's not a lot you can do here. Fishing doesn't work, shovels don't work, and you can't get back onto the beach or into the rivers. You can swim with the fish, though. Of course, they'll disappear if you're running. However, you can get some pretty fun photos, including a much better view of the seaplane. You can also run in any direction for a while, but a wall will eventually stop you. There's no way to return to land, so I recommend pressing minus and using end session before your last friend leaves. You can also use the same method to get into the river, though that's probably less exciting. As with all of these scenarios, the host and client will likely see characters in different places. If your friend leaves, then you will remain trapped, but you can call rescue services to fix your location. I first discovered this glitch in a villager's home, Colton's specifically, by sitting at his piano and holding A when a friend was arriving. It's worth noting that multiple people can do this. We actually had four or five people walking around the boundaries of Colton's house. It can also make for some hilarious forced perspective photos. As you'd imagine, this will work in your character's home as well. We only tried it in the main room, but I don't see a reason it wouldn't work in every room of the house. So finally, that leads us to the biggest and most exciting discovery. Using this trick, you can climb even higher than normal. In New Horizons, there's three elevation levels. Ground level, second level, and third level. While it's possible to terraform a fourth level, the game won't let you climb up there with your ladder. So, let's use our trick from before. You'll see it's very possible to ascend to the fourth level. And yes, once your friends have left the island, you can even place objects up here. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any restrictions. The game treats this just like any other level. You can dig holes, you can plant trees, and you won't fall off the edges like you would on the museum roof. Conveniently, using your ladder to get down to the third level is allowed. Of course, once you're down, you won't be able to climb back up without using the trick again. You also won't be able to build any higher than a fourth level, because opening the island designer requires that your gates be closed. And they can't be, in order to do the trick. 
I really hope this video helps you. There's a lot of added possibility here, either for fun photos or just a way of making your island even more unique. I'd love to see what comes out of this discovery. Also want to say thanks to my friends for staying up late and helping me test a lot of different scenarios. Josh, Dan, Tom, Emmy, Lindsay, Mao, I appreciate it. And if you want some funny Animal Crossing content to watch, we've got a playlist of it right here on Steven Place. Man, I d was oh not boy. mentally prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Now go take some funny photos and build some even more incredible islands.